What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw Adam Smasher from Black Adam. Let's begin today's lesson at the top center of our page with the bottom edge of the brow. Let's leave a gap in between the eyes. Let's start over on the left. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and then we'll bend that out. Let's line up the inside over on the right and do the same thing. Let's go back to the inside and curl up the brow. Starting on the left, come in and then bend that up Go to the right and do the same thing. Now I'm going to tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. On the left side, let's step in to create an overlap and draw a circle. Coming down toward the bottom of the eye and pull that up on the inside. Let's line up with the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center and draw in the nose. Starting on the left, curve this down, up. I'm going to step up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Let's move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the left eye, we're going to step out, curve this down, it's going to round up the head in towards the chin, go across, and then bend that up towards the right. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the top of the head. Start by going up. Round up the head in the middle, come across, and we'll bring that back down on the right. Now let's add that trim around the eyes. From the inside of the left eye, let's step up towards the brow, bend this down in between the nose, and then out. Let's go over towards the right, coming down, and then out. From the bottom, we go out around the eyes and then up towards the side of the head. Let's pull this up and in to the top of the brow. And we'll pull this in and then down towards the brow. Let's go to the bottom point Curve this down and then in towards the chin. Let's go up to that top point, going up and then bending that in towards the top. Now from here we're going to move down and draw on the collar. Let's start over on the left side, then bend this down in the middle and then up. From the side of the collar, draw two straight angle lines coming down and out towards the side of the body. And then on the left side, curve the body going out and then down towards the hip. Let's connect the hips with a curve, coming down and then up across the bottom of the belt. Now I'm going to step up and draw the top of the belt with that same curve. Let's add some detail to the belt. From the top, we're going to step down and follow that same curve to add a trim. And then from the bottom, we'll step up and do the same thing. Now you want to leave a gap in the center, move out to the side, hook this around and then in. Let's add that patch in the center of the body. On the left, going up, rounding up the top, and then coming back down. Let's add that logo in the center of the body. Starting from the top right, we're going to draw an oval coming down in an angle, and then back Let's go to the top left, come down the opposite direction, and then back up towards the top. Now right where the ovals intersect in the center, it's going to go out towards the left, come in towards the right, and then back up towards the top. Let's go back to the center of the body, step down, add a curve, point up, and then down. Now you want to leave a small gap in the center, let's go to the left side, bend the leg going out, and then down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting on the left, bend this down and up. Now we're going to go back to the left side and draw the top of the foot, we're going to bend this up, curve this down, aim towards the heel, leaving a gap on the inside.
Now I'm going to go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Start from the left hip, bend this out, and then down on top of the feet. Now I'm going to add some more detail to the legs. Let's start from the outside of the foot. I'm just going to bend this in and then down. And we'll angle this up and in with a straight line. From the top of the foot, let's step up, bend this down and up. Angle this down and in. Let's go back to this point, draw a straight angle line going up, and it'll round out the top, going up and then down. Now I'm going to add a trim along the top, inside, and bottom. So it's following those same curves. Let's line up the outside of this trim underneath the belt, bend this down and then out towards the side. Now we're going to move out to the side and draw on the arms. We're going to start halfway between the chin and the bottom of the belt. So starting right here, then the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we'll draw a small half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Now we're gonna add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, we come down and bend this up around that bracket. We're gonna move to the side, draw the second finger, going around and then in. And then the third finger, we're gonna go out, bend the arm coming up and in underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's separate the cuff from the top of the thumb, bend this up, and then out. Let's move up and draw that again. Up and out. Let's add a trim along the bottom and top. Now let's connect the top of the body to the outside of the cuff with a straight angled line. Step down, draw that again. And then we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Adam Smasher from Black Adam. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.